Good morning. Today you're going to be doing a quick compare and contrast of invertebrates and vertebrates, just to sum up the chapter that we've been working on. Um, we're just going to be noticing some uh, either share characteristics or differences among them. So down here we have our Venn diagram that I've drawn. Your invertebrates are here and they are the red circle. Your vertebrates are here and they are the blue circle. And then you have your shared area where there are common characteristics between both. The way to draw on this diagram, and the directions are written above as well, is to double click on the diagram. Your draw box will come up. And then each one has a text box here. So in the text box, and I've already changed the font size to make it easy enough, you're going to, I mean, to see all of the things that you put in here. So for invertebrates, for example, and I may try to use bullet points to differentiate everything, I would put something along the lines of no backbone. Here, I'll double click again and I'll put my, uh, I'll put my bullet points as a backbone. Here, I'll correct this. There we go. And you'll continue to add now. There is a, I'm going to take these out, but there is a word or a phrase bank that I'm going to show you as well. By the way, when you're done typing in all your answers, you must hit save and close for everything to show up. So for example, if I added here, no backbone, I save and close and it's there and published. I can also take out any mistakes, so don't worry about making a mistake and having to correct it. You can do so as well. Now, if you're worried about being able to see the word or phrase bank on the second page, I've made it possible for you to just go between two tabs. You have a uh, Google slide presentation that's just posted with this word bank, so you can go back and forth as well, and you don't have to worry about that. Um, there are also two questions after the end of this. You're going to have... Over the last two weeks, we've been going over invertebrates and vertebrates along with classification. Um, all you have to do is give me some similarities and differences. You can look at the Venn diagram. You can also include things from previous lessons as well. And um, I will grade you on everything that you include. If you're missing information from the word or phrase bank or it's placed incorrectly, it will affect your score on this. So. Be sure to look through old notes or your, or your textbook, chapter four. If you have any questions, I will be in my office hours at 1 p.m. Um, otherwise, tomorrow on Thursday, we are going to um, do a review for the quarterly. It's going to be a mix of questions that from the textbook, questions from old eighth grade exams. Your quarterly will be next week I will give you the exact date as soon as I am able to. Thank you and have a very, very nice day.